Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. I'm your host, Rob. This video, we're going to do a rewind review of Gamera Revenge of Iris. Okay guys, welcome back. I loved this fucking movie. This movie was so damn good. Man, oh, wow. The ending was epic. The ending was epic. I love the ending. This movie was really, really good. I mean, I am so impressed with this trilogy, you know, and um, I'm glad I finally got it on Blu-ray, and I'm glad I finally got to see it, because as much as I love the first one, the next two were just as good. I did like... Um, I did obviously like Attack of Legion, but I I have to say I think Iris is my favorite one. So, you know, the story goes, um, this little girl is very, very hateful towards Gamera because he inadvertently killed her parents during the fight with Gaios. And um, she's part of this small village um, where they have a sacred temple where there's like some egg or some rock that they nobody can actually move it. But it's supposed to stay in place. Um, Gamera's still around fighting Giles's that are suddenly descending upon the Earth due to the fight that happened with um, Legion in, uh, three years prior, according to the story. Asagi is no longer linked with Gamera. And there are some occultists who believe Aunt Gamera to be uh, very evil. So there's a lot going on in the story. There's a lot to kind of kind of keep up with. But, you know, the, the the thing I like about these three movies is that Gamera is, is so... I like the fact that he's always in a position where you, you just think he's gone. He's done. It's He's like the comeback king. I would love to see Gamera, this Gamera fight Godzilla because Godzilla, you, you get a sense of his strength because he just keeps coming. He's kind of like Rocky, although he doesn't bruise very much. He just keeps coming. He just keeps coming. Where Gamera is like, he's the underdog you always root for. It would be like Rocky versus Rudy from, from the movie Rudy. It's just, it's, it's a tale of two kaijus that just, they don't quit. But the only difference is that Gamera takes some serious lumps, man. Oh my God, he takes some lumps. So this, so this little girl obviously has a hatred for Gamera. She, for some reason, can move this rock in the temple. She does, and that starts a chain of events. This little monster is uh, born out of this rock, and she takes the monster, she names it Iris, and she starts to raise it. Once it gets to a certain height, or excuse me, just grows to a certain level, it attempts to absorb the little girl. Um, I'm still 100% unclear as to why, but I'm wondering, you know, it, 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 it just tries to like bond with her on a physical level, not anything sexual, of course, but just absorb her. Uh, she gets saved from that. And then the monster goes on a rampage and starts like, it looks like it kind of steals the spirit of its targets. So... It gets bigger and bigger. All the while, God's, uh, excuse me, Godzilla. <laughs> Gamera is fighting Giles. And there's this scene that takes place in this city. And man, that shit is so epic. All you see are Giles is falling out of the sky on fire. And then you see Gamera flying in. And there's Giles is everywhere. And he's just toasting them. But at the same time, is a surge of collateral damage. He kills like 20,000 people. And it's such a great scene. I mean, the it's... It, you know, when you watch a Godzilla movie and Godzilla's approaching, you always get the very the scene of everybody running and the cops are, you know. With this, there's none of that shit. Everybody's chilling, having ice cream, coming out of the movie theater, and next thing you know, all hell breaks loose. People are having buildings fall on them. People are getting torched. I mean, fuck, man. Awesome shit. So, Gamera dispatches of all these guys. The military decides, all right, Gamera's a threat. We got to go after him. But there are some few who know and believe that Gamera's obviously a good guy. He's trying, you know, if he doesn't get rid of the Gaioses of this swarm, they're going to take over the Earth. They're going to end up eating everybody and, and so on and so forth. So while, while Gamera's dealing with that, 
here's Iris growing to a large, large scale, um, virtually unstoppable. Military tries to cut him off uh, to no avail. They suffer heavy losses. There was a scene where this this girl and this guy looked like they were about to go into the forest and make out and have a little love scene or whatever. And he takes the girl and just, like, sucks her spirit out. Man, it was some crazy shit. So what happened was the little girl who was linked to the monster gets kidnapped by the occultists who want to actually get control of Iris so they can kill Gamera as well. So in some kind of ways, they're on the same page, but they're really not. And there's this other lady who's trying to save her. And I don't remember everybody's name. I remember Asagi because Asagi's been in the whole trilogy. Uh, but the lady, I can't remember if she was a reporter of some sort. But she's heavily involved with trying to get the girl back. Because the girl was in the hospital. The hospital released her to these occultists. So they go to retrieve the girl. Iris takes flight to go and find her. And during the process is cut off by uh, Air Force. They're trying to shoot her down. Uh, it's not working too well. I say her, but it could have been a guy, either or. Um, eventually, Gamera comes and cuts her off. And just as he's about to get involved in the maybe an aerial fight with her, he gets nailed by a fucking uh, a Tomahawk missile or, or, or a surface-to-air uh, surface missile, and he gets knocked to his ass. Iris shows up, starts wreaking havoc on the city. He's looking for the little girl. Gamera eventually finally catches up with her, and they get, man, and they get into this fight. Man, boy, do they get into a fight. And, um, you know, it seems that Iris just has the upper hand. I mean, she's so powerful. And, um, you know, she's, uh, re other than being this a, a regular kaiju that has strength and things of that nature, you know, she's got this ability to absorb. So they're fighting in this train station where, Asagi, uh, the little girl who hates Gamera, the two occultists, and I'm going to just call her right now the news lady, uh, are, are trapped in there. And they're, they're, you know, Iris wants to still absorb the little girl. Um, Asagi's trying to help her because even though she wants Gamera dead, Asagi wants her to kind of... Asagi knows that she basically... She understands why she feels that way, but she wants her to know that Gamera's not evil. So Gamera and, and Iris duke it out in this train station and Gamera gets impaled by Iris, goes down. You think he's out of it. Iris comes and grabs the girl. The girl has this foster brother or boyfriend. I don't know. He was one of the two who for the whole movies basically saved her ass. And even here, he, he shows up to try and save her once again. But it was it was too, you know, he couldn't do it. The The monster takes the girl, absorbs her. Uh, during that whole process, she has like a vision of everything that the monster has done, and she realizes that the monster is very evil. Her intentions are wrong. She she kind of realizes that Gamma really isn't evil. Now the funny thing is, if the flashbacks of her looking, remembering uh, Gamma and, and rummaging through the city and her parents dying, man, Gamma looks so fucking evil. He looks he looks like GMK Godzilla. He's got the, the white eyes, but he looks vicious. And in this movie alone. He looks like sick. I mean, he really, I don't, he, to me, he doesn't even look like a turtle anymore. He just looks like some sort of special dragon with like this big ass scale on his back. And the scales even like pop up. Man, it is fucking great design. So, um, so just as he's about to completely absorb the little girl, Gamera gets up, punches through the chest, grabs the little girl out of it, and is holding her. And then Iris turns around and nails Gamera's hand to the wall. And this, to me, was the best scene in the movie. So Gamera's sitting there. He's pinned to the wall with his hand impaled. He's holding the little girl on the other one. So he can't do anything with the other hand because he knows that if he punches Iris or whatever, he's going to he's gonna kill her. So he's looking at Iris, and then he looks at his hand. He looks at Iris. Meanwhile, Iris is, is purging his blood or his life force from through his hand. Finally, Gamera turns around and blasts his hand off. You want to talk about badass. He blasted his hand off. So finally, he blasts his hand off. His hand's got like this fiery plasma shit on it or whatever it is. And he punches a big gaping hole through Iris. End of the fight, man. He nailed it. It was such an epic, epic scene. And then finally, after he, he saves the girl, he puts her down. She turns out to be okay. And then they they go back to like the military. And the military is reporting thousands upon thousands of guiles. Heading into the city. So you see Gamera kind of look at his hand. 
He makes his roar. He starts walking out of the train station. And there's fire all over the place from the fight between him and Iris. And he looks up and he roars again like he's ready for them. And then, boom, movie ends. That was an epic ending. Because I'm thinking to myself, well, great, he's going to fight the Giles. But they never show it. So you don't know how that turns out. That's how the trilogy ends. Man, I, I enjoyed it. If you have not seen this, and a lot of you have, I know that's why a lot of you have been asking me to review it, and I gotta say, man, I enjoyed it. And the look of Gamera, I'm convinced now that if if they were to ever try and make a Gamera movie here, they would have to 100% reference the Heisei uh, trilogy because that Gamera, especially the last one, that whole look and the scaly back that doesn't even look like a turtle shell anymore, it looks like one big scale with little scales in it that just kind of pop up. Man, epic. Epic, epic movie. I really enjoyed it. I'm so glad I own that trilogy on Blu-ray now because I know I'm going to watch it quite a few times before before I, you know, kind of stop doing that. But um, I would say Iris is definitely my favorite one of the trilogy. Definitely. And I still like Legion. Don't get me wrong. I thought Legion was just as good. But this is that ending sequence when he blasts his hand off and then he walks out into the city that's on fire surrounding him and he roars and looks up in the air waiting for the Giles to come. Fucking epic, man. That shit was great. Very, very good movie. So um, that's it for this review, guys. Obviously, you can see I'm very pumped about the movie. It was very good. And uh, I'll see you next next video. Take it easy.